Hey y'all, it's Glam Gram Rebecca, and in today's video, I am doing a really quick makeup look to actually go to a new doctor. And um, I didn't, did, I recorded this on my computer um, because I literally have nowhere on my makeup counter to do any makeup because of all the makeup packages that I've gotten in lately. And honestly, I really need to um, do unboxing videos and stuff to show all the stuff that I've gotten recently and unbox all my copacetic stuff that I get every month. And I'm like so far behind, but my health has been basically in the trash. So I haven't done a whole lot of stuff lately because of the fact that my health has been in the trash. So I wanted to come on here and do like a quick makeup look just so you guys, you know, could see I, I do still exist. Um, I'm still doing life. Uh, I've been busy with work and stuff and my migraines have been keeping me down pretty much a lot lately. So this is the Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town USA. It's their latest palette. I do have a good discount code with them, Rebecca10. It'll save you 10% off of it. I used it myself when I bought this. The four shades that I use out of here is Undead Sheriff, Deadwood, Tombstone, and Gar um, MT Garnet or Garnet comma MT. The shimmers in this palette are unlike anything in her other palettes. Normally with her other palettes, you have to um, kind of dig into the shades in order to get any color payout on the shadows. When I dug into that garnet shade for the outer edge of my lid, I was super shocked by the fact that this was super soft. It was very soft. Like I had never felt a formula like this from her, um, from Nomad Cosmetics at all, period. Now, Blend Bunny Cosmetics, their shimmer shades feel like this, but not from Nomad. I had, I was like completely shocked. So, um, very soft, need a light touch with these. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Um, just for the simple fact that I was, I was surprised that these were, um, as soft as they were. So, um, I've been to, since I've done any like makeup or anything like that, I have been to several doctors. Finally figured out gastroenterology stuff. I've had ultrasounds of my gallbladder and my kidneys. I've been tested for Ehlers-Danlow and lupus. Um, my rheumatologist put me on a medication that made me horrifically sick. So there was that. Yeah, that was absolutely no fun. Um, I was on one migraine medication that made me really, really, really sick. And it almost landed me in the hospital because of how sick it made me. And then my um, insurance company wouldn't pay for the migraine medication that was working. And so they made me take another one. I took that injection this past Friday. So I've, I've had it in my system a week and it is not working. And the neurologist said we have to by the requirements of the fucking insurance assholes, we have to do two injections of it before we can go back and say, hey, y'all, this shit don't work. Which for me is super frustrating because it's not working. And the other medication works so well. And now I'm stuck with a medication that is not doing shit for me. So I have to do one more injection before we can go back to the drawing board with the insurance assholes to find out, you know, what I can do there. And basically I, I'm not happy. Um, the other medication was working great. I had minimal migraines for the three months that I was on it and I was able to function and actually play video games without having instant migraine pain. Um, I, was able to like kind of live a semi-normal life for a couple of months and then all of a sudden it's like somebody took the rug out from under my feet because of the insurance and come to find out the insurance company had said that Mgality used to be their preferred migraine medication until they got bought out by a drug company in January and now they're pushing a Jovi and Amavig and now Mgality people that had been on it for years and doing well on it, no longer can get it 
because the insurance won't cover it. And so all of those people got bumped off. Now they need a pre-authorization and they have to go through the other two medications first to have them fail just for them to go back to the M, you know, MGality that was working for them and a six month appeal process. So this is the US health system that we have right now. So this is like frustrating for people like me that go through this on a regular basis that is constantly having issues with pharmaceutical companies saying that they know what is best. And when I talked to the pharmacist who called me about another medication that I finally got approval for, I said, I just wanna know who denied me for this medication because I literally, oh yeah, that's where I'm showing you how trash the pan is on, on that shadow. It, like I said, I barely dipped in and it was like super soft. So again, heads up on that. But like, the thing is, is that they don't give a shit about us. Their entire thing is to make money and they don't care about us at all, period. They, they want to do what is quick and easy for them and how they can get paid the, the most for it. And they honestly do not care about the consumer or our health or anything there within because it doesn't matter to them. It doesn't matter. We don't matter. So I have gone round and round with insurance companies about this. It is affecting my work, um, horribly <laughs> affecting my work. I start training back with Intuit on Monday. Um, and it's like one of those things that I can't have all these bad days because number one, it is making me look really bad, but also it's, it's hard because I can't function like a normal human being at all. Like this is, this is bad. I can't continue to do this. And the fact that these people just don't fucking care really it really bothers me it really bothers me that I'm having to go through so many hoops and loops and argue with people like I, I told the pharmacist I said I just want to know who denied my amgality every time for the past three months that, that we've been trying to get this approved because I'd like to meet them in person with a ball peen hammer and I said I just want to tap them on the head every time my head hurts that way, they have an idea of just how bad my head is on a daily basis. I just want to just tap them in the head with a ball peen hammer every time I have an issue for one 24 hour period and see if then, maybe then, they might actually take somebody like me serious that has gone through this shit for years and needs help. Like, is that too much to ask? Honestly, actually it is. For them, it's too much to ask because they don't care. They don't care. They don't want to care. They they don't give a shit. And, and that's, that's the long and the short of it. So um, Tay had asked me for a <laughs> ranty video. So here's your basically ranty video with makeup. And I'm going to have to edit that to zoom that out. Um, I got too close to the camera there and you couldn't see that makeup look. But I'll fix that in a minute. Anyways, I put some music behind this so you're not just listening to me rant the entire time. Um, I will, I have literally over 100 videos to edit. I just don't have the fucking time um, and the brain power to do it. So um, there's that and I have no help. So it's not like I can, I can get help with that. But this is the first look, first impression with the Ghost Town USA Nomad palette. I really enjoy the color story. I even compared it to the other palette that I have from them. And I'm gonna go. See you guys later. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.